Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is all about career and money. Let's see what's going on in our jobs and what we can expect if we're getting a raise, if we're going to keep this job, if we're finding a job, if we're going to lose a job. So let's just see what's going on. Before I get started, uh, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. You ready? All right. Yes, I am feeling better today. Thank you for all those who sent me little messages saying you. I hope you feel better. Thank you very much. Um, I do. So I think it was just really bad allergies because like I'm still kind of froggy, but um, the sneezing, I was sneezing like crazy has at least stopped for now, hopefully for, <laughs> for now on. But anyway, here we go with pile one. We have the little white house button. Pile two is a blue heart button. Pile three is a green fish button. And pile four is a purple butterfly button. That's what we're picking our piles with. Don't know why. That's just what I found. So that's what we're using today. So take a moment. Pick the pile you're most drawn to. And uh, we'll find out what's going on with our career. I'm going to get started with pile one. Hi, Pile One. If you chose the White House, then this is your reading. Let's grab your cards. Ace of Cups. The Hierophant. <laughs> King of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Wow. All right. Pile one, you're going to be doing great. <laughs> so if you haven't been doing good, you're going to be doing good now. The energy is changing. Wow. This is, looks really good. Ace of Cups, something new coming in. Something that's um, something that you're going to love, something that you're really going to enjoy. The Hierophant tells me that there will be a change. So um, you will be doing something different. Either um, like... I don't know if it's completely different, but there's like a new cycle in your in your work life. You know what I mean? So you might be taking on a project or, or more responsibility, or you might be going in a different direction, or there might be, you know, a different kind of offer or something extra, a bonus, or I don't know. There's just something new. There is a there is a change coming and um feels like it's in like a new cycle, a new chapter in your work life. Um you could be a mentor to somebody or somebody could be mentoring you also with this card. Um, you know, the higher friend is a spiritual teacher, so they are usually older and wiser. So just, you know, a mentor is definitely a possibility here. But you're sitting in this King of Pentacles energy and the King of Pentacles has the Midas touch, right? He can um, turn anything into gold. So it looks like you can do no wrong right now. No matter what you choose to do in your work life, in your career, you're going to be successful. Money's going to come in, which is absolutely amazing. I like that that's the ener overall energy, that that's where you're sitting. So that's fantastic. That means you're going to be very, very successful. Um, Six of Cups tells me that you are either going to go back to doing something that you used to do before, or you're going to be working with somebody from your past. Um, either somebody you used to work with before or even somebody you used to know. But it looks like something from the past is returning to your life here in your career. career. And that's not always a bad thing. Um, Eight of Pentacles tells me that you are definitely a hard worker and that your hard work will pay off. This is very good, very exciting. So I want to... I'm going to get you some tea leaves. We got keep your life in balance, scales, and box. Give me a second. Bread and kite. Okay. Keep your life in balance. Okay, so this is just a reminder to, um, you know, to keep everything um, in balance. We don't want to work too hard and have our home life suffer. And 
we don't want to play too hard and have our work life suffer. So I think that you're going to be very happy. I think you're coming back into balance. I think this new opportunity or this new venture is um, definitely going to make you very, very happy. You will receive a gift. So, you know, maybe somebody older and wiser is going to offer you a, like a fantastic opportunity, like just something that's going to make you very, very happy. But a gift is coming to you. And a period of prosperity and abundance. So this gift is bringing you more money, which is exciting. I told you you were going to be successful, right? You're going to be so successful that you can take a vacation here with this kite. Um, yeah, you're going to just start enjoying life. So like I said, if things haven't been going great in your in your work life, um, they're about to turn around. This is really, really good energy. I'm really excited for this. All right, let's get a let's get an Archangel Michael card. Lean on God and the angels for support. So that's just basically saying that you're this that the divine has your back. The divine is blessing this. This is um, you know they're supporting you and they're helping you and. Uh, this is meant to be so whatever's coming your way is uh it's like really good karma <laughs> so that's awesome the priestess how are you being called to step up and lead there you go you might be getting a leadership position you might be jumping up to management or you might be starting your own business um, with a great opportunity here or you might be, I don't know, like I said, being a mentor, leading, showing people the way. Um, but yeah, definitely a leadership role is coming in for you. Answers. Answers. So again, I'm feeling like you have the answers. Like you have really... Um, honed your craft here you really are like the top of your field or you 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 know you're really good at what you do and you have the answers so people come to you for answers and people are like I said you might be you're probably mentoring somebody um, yeah I feel like you're like leading by example here and people are going to look to you for the answers I just feel like um like um like you're some kind of a teacher and it could be mentor that's the same along the same lines but like some kind of a teacher where where you're proud to share your knowledge and you're proud to see um your student learn and grow like you you have this it's a very um like an accomplished feeling, I guess, or a satisfactory feeling I'm getting. It's really nice. Endurance, keep going. So even if you don't see this happening here, even if this is not um, been given to you yet, um, keep going. Don't give up. You're on the right path. Whatever you're doing, just hang in there because this amazing stuff is happening for you it's in your energy already so they don't want you to give up before you get the prize you know what i mean so keep going keep doing what you're doing everything will work out for you adjustments are required okay so you might have to change things up just a little tiny bit um or Adjustments will be required when you get this opportunity. So you might have to do things a little differently, but that's okay. Cause look how successful you're going to be. You're, you're, uh, you, you're going to have like a lot of abundance coming in for you. So, um, you know, you might have to tweak things a little bit, but that's not a bad thing. Trust, trust that this, whatever this is, is for your highest good. Trust that you are, um, qualified for whatever this is, that you have the ability to be successful and you are worthy of this position. Um, just have a little bit of faith here. 
the, the divine does. I've been stuttering a lot lately. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Just notice that. Dimensional gateway. Oh, that just means uh, doors are open up for you. Opportunities are coming in. You're going to be able to step through that gateway, that door, that opening. Um, you have an amazing opportunity coming in for you. And it's going to make you very happy. And it, you're going to be very successful. It's going to bring in a lot of abundance. And like I said, you're going to be able to take a vacation. So you're going to have, um, you know something that you enjoy doing you're making money at what you enjoy and you're going to be able to have fun because of it so your life will really be in balance again i love this i really do i love this for you excited excited let's uh get you a fortune cookie sunshine the sun is shining on you career and business growth Fabulous communication and relationships. So the sun is shining. You're getting your sun. You're getting your happiness. Good things are coming in for you, pile one. Very good. Very good. Let's get um, some charms. All right. Let's see. Friends. Okay. So, um, you know, maybe one of your friends or childhood friends is going to come back and work with you or going to give you the lead um, for this new opportunity or something like that. So, or you're going to make new friends at your new job. This is a new cycle. So new friends could be coming in. So that's really good. Resolutions. So this is probably um, something that you've been wanting for a while, um, some kind of a career boost. And, you know, you made a New Year's resolution saying that I am going to be successful. And guess what? You are. This is going to bring you so much peace and joy and happiness. Um, yeah, you're going to be able to breathe again. You know, you're going to be able to take vacations and have fun. Look, flip-flops. You're going on vacation with the star. So not only is the star going to be shining for you, but it, it's going to lead you to a nice vacation, I feel like. Someplace warm and sunny and fun. Um, you got the light, light, so your path is going to be illuminated. So even if you don't see this now, just keep going because you're going to come into a time of abundance. Yeah, something's going to change. You got the leaf. Something is definitely changing. And the last one is the sewing machine. So, um... You know, I just feel like it's neat and tidy. Like this package is like sewn up nicely. Like it's, there's no loose ends. No, no, uh, fr it, it, you're not going to feel frayed anymore. You know what I mean? Like, like everything's coming together and everything's just being sewn up beautifully. Wow. Pile one, I'm very happy for you. Good luck in everything because this is a pretty amazing and, and you deserve it. So give the video a like, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because you know that'll help me, make me very grateful. And until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 2. If you chose the blue heart, then this is going to be your reading. Let's jump in and get your cards. We have three swords. King of Swords. Ten of Swords. Uh oh, what's going on here? Two of Wands. Two of Swords. Let's move these up a little bit. Um, well, Three of Swords is here, and that's heartbreak. So you could be losing a job or. Um, somebody just really betrayed you and it broke your heart. It, like you were, you really thought that you could trust someone. Ten of Swords is here. That's the overall energy you feel. You feel kind of betrayed. You feel, 
And this could just be like you didn't get the raise or the promotion you were supposed to get. You just kind of feel betrayed by somebody. You feel kind of stabbed in the back or let down. Your heart's a little broken. You're a little sad over this. Um, but I don't think you have to worry too much because the, you're the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is so confident and knowledgeable. They're, you know, ca you're calculated and you run a tight, tight ship. And you seem to be like three steps ahead. Um, I don't know. Maybe that attitude hurt you in some way a little bit because that can be intimidating. So, I don't know. I feel like maybe in the future you should work on your charisma or your communication skills a little bit. But um, I, I don't. I feel like you're going to bounce back from this, whatever this is. I really do. Two of Wands says you... you you pretty much have a choice. You can go in any direction you want. Um, two of Swords is a decision. Like I feel like you're kind of deciding whether you should leave where you're at and go somewhere else. Um, because you, you do feel betrayed right now. You do feel stabbed in the back. So I really think you're thinking about moving on. Like I said, I, I do feel like you're bouncing back, so I wouldn't, wouldn't worry too much here. Let's get some tea leaves. Carriage, ear, tree, and quill. Okay. So... A journey, either physical or mental. So, you know, obviously everything happens for a reason, right? So, this is starting you on a new journey, I feel like. I feel like this is something new coming in for you. Um, it could be that you're moving on with the carriage. You could be, you know, journeying, you know, getting in the carriage and leaving and going to a new place and doing something completely new. Or this could just have you thinking a lot, you know, a journey of the soul, a journey of the mind. You're just really um, contemplating things. But you're getting good news. See, I told you, I feel, I feel like you're going to bounce back from this um, betrayal, whatever this is, whatever has broken your heart. I really do. I feel like you're getting good news. And um, the tree's family, right? So I'm getting two things with the family, with the tree here. Either this is a family situation. Um, you feel betrayed by family. Um, or... You're starting something new with family like you might be starting a new business with like family or you might be going into the family business or like I said you were betrayed by the family business somehow but they're saying just get back to the basics you know stop overthinking things um, stop making things overly complicated and uh, you know get back to the basics what is what are the basics for your line of work what is it do you have to pound the pavement do you have to pick up the phone and make phone calls do you have to talk to people like what is the basis like how do you how do you get it's like kind of like a starting over um yeah i feel like you have to kind of start over not necessarily that you know, you didn't necessarily lose your job, but you got to like start over. Like either you, maybe you lost a big client or something like that. And you have to get back to the basics to go out and find new clients. All right, let's just uh, get some more cards here. Let's see what else is coming out for you. Take your time making this decision. Okay. So they don't want you to be impulsive and just get fiery and temperamental and quit. They want you to 
really take your time, weigh the pros and cons, see the bigger picture, and make your decision using your logic. You're the king of swords. You have the smarts to do this. You have the smarts to make a um, educated decision. So just don't be impulsive, that's all. I feel like they don't want you to fly off the handle. Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. The ancestors, your ancestors stand beside you. So, you know what? Spirit's got your back. You're going to, everything's going to work out. I told you, I felt like you're going to bounce back. You are. They've got your back. This is happening for a reason. It's probably teaching you some kind of a lesson. And guess what this lesson is going to do? It's going to make you stronger and more successful in the long run. You just might have to start over a little bit. But look, you got family again. So again, this is either a family business or you were betrayed by family or you're now going to start working with family, right? Maybe you're going to go into the family business because something didn't work out in the, on the outside or vice versa. Something didn't work out in the family business, so now you're going to work out, uh, do something on the outside. But whatever it is, it's, it's important because I think like it's really important so either family's going to be there for you or family betrayed you i'm getting both so i can't lean one way or the other so that just means that it goes some ways for some and in other ways for others so telepathy nonverbal communication energetic Pulses mind reading. Okay. So for me, this is, um, it's all about feeling, right? Listening to your intuition, getting that feeling, um, kind of anticipating. I think you know. I think you know things. I think you're wiser than you think or wiser than people give you credit for. I think that you have telepathy. Um, either that or you just don't have a poker face and everybody can read <laughs> what's on your mind by your face. <laughs> like me, I have no poker face. Um, no, I just, I just think you're really in tune. I do. I think you're really in tune, and I think you have this higher knowing of certain things. I think you just know things. So I think you're going to know the moves to make here in this in this situation. Believe in the impossible. So um, yeah, if you think something that's it could be like um, like a far reach or something that's like almost near impossible, but not, you know, nothing's impossible. Um, believe you can have it, believe you can get it, believe in that goal, believe in whatever it is, believe in the impossible, because you're gonna make it happen. I told you good things are coming in for you. I, I know you feel betrayed somehow, some way, but I feel really good things are coming in for you. Yeah, because this opportunity or this is worth waiting for. So, um, yeah, this happened for a reason because there's something better for you. It was worth it. it, it it's going to be worth it. It might not feel like it's worth it right at the moment or in the near future, but it will be. It will definitely be worth it. Metatron's card is conquering your fear. Start today. So this is facing your fears, knowing that this is happening for a reason. And guess what? It wouldn't be happening if you weren't worthy, if you weren't capable, if you weren't brave enough or courageous enough to do this, whatever this is, conquer your fear, face it. The only way through an obstacle is to, I mean, the only way, yeah, to get rid of an obstacle is to go through it. So face that fear. Um, don't go around it. Don't. Ignore it and don't suppress it. Let's go through it. Let's conquer it. Let's take it down so we no longer have it anymore. You're going to be successful. I do feel success here. 
communication, a reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendship. A lucky win seems, seems likely. Told you, you have success coming in. A lucky win. Um, maybe facing the, the fear that you have to conquer is communication with somebody. And maybe that's having a heart to heart with somebody in your family. Maybe you need to sit down and just, you know, put it on the line, show your cards, lay it on the table. Um, and maybe that's the fear you have to conquer. I don't know, but you got success coming in here. You got a lucky win. So I'm excited for this, even though it might make you uncomfortable. Look, when we're uncomfortable, the best thing to do is to conquer it and grow and learn and uh, you know that means we'll be successful the moon you got the moon so um, you might not be seeing some things clearly there might be some confusion some not knowing what to do but the light's going to shine again so don't worry about it you're very independent. You can handle this. You can conquer these fears because you are independent and you take care of yourself. You're the king of swords. Look at that. All right. You might be at a crossroads. You might have to make this decision. Just don't make it lately and weigh your options, right? Don't, don't be hasty. Take off the mask. Again, I feel like it's clouding your judgment. You don't have to be anybody than who you are, right? Because, um, you're pretty amazing. You're the king of swords. You can you could take care of anything. The key to success is here, and so is the ladybug. So luck is definitely on your side. You do have people rooting for you, as, as especially your angels and guides. They're rooting for you. They've got your back. I do feel like there's some kind of a commitment coming in with this knot. Um, so you might have to sign a contract or... You might have to like make a long-term commitment to something, but uh, I feel like it's good. I don't feel like it's bad. I feel like it's really good. You have the candy here, so something sweet, something sweet. It's on its way for you, to you, for you. And you got uh, the last one is in January, so January could be something very important to you. It could be your birthday. It could be. Um, an anniversary or some kind of important date or some kind of significant something like like a change happened in January or a change is going to happen in January career-wise all right um pile two that is all I have for you I hope it helped you give the video a like and if you haven't subscribed subscribe to the channel because that'll help me a lot make me very grateful and until next time love and light Hi, Pile 3. If you chose the green fish, then this is going to be your reading. Let's jump in and get your cards. Ace of Wands. The Tower. Eight of Wands. Seven of Cups. Ten of Cups. All right, so not so bad here. Um, you know, tower scares me sometimes, but, um, in a career read, <laughs> but not, not so bad, not so bad at all. So Ace of Wands is a new beginning coming in. It's something that's going to light the fire inside of you. It's going to give you passion. It's going to give you motivation. Um, yeah, there's something new coming in for you because there's going to be a tower moment. And that means that something's going to crumble. Something's going to change. Something's, um, going to fall apart. Something is just not right for you anymore. So a change is needed. And um, so you're definitely getting a new start here, whether you want it or not. It, there is a new start here and the energy is going to start picking up. So your career is going to start getting very busy here. Um, so if you've been slow, just know you're coming into a very busy time. So I don't know if this is like a heavier workload or more responsibilities or new clients, but definitely a pickup uh, in the pace. You're definitely going to have some opportunities here. There's seven of cups, and I feel like these opportunities are going to lead you to money. 
But you got the Ten of Cups here. This is happiness. This is what you've wanted. This is what you're working for. This is success for you. So um, you have some great opportunities coming in for you. Just know that your pace is going to be a little um, elevated. So hopefully you keep up with that pace. But um, I feel like you will because the Ace of Wands is like passion. So it's going to be something you're excited for. Um, you're just going to, you're just going to be thriving. Just, you know, I, I feel like it's such fast pace though, that you might get a little burned out if you're not careful. So just keep that in mind. The cards are not telling me you're going to get burned out, but I, I'm, you know, I'm an empath. So I feel things and I feel this pace. I feel this energy and it's, it's, um, it's a lot, but it's energizing though. It, it is energizing. So for those of you who like a quicker pace, a faster pace, then this, you're going to fit right in. It's going to be smooth sailing and no issues. But for those of you who are used to that slower pace, you're going to have to like, um, adjust. Okay. Let me get you some tea leaves. All right. We've got valley and money path <laughs> nice and come on yeah all right we got fan and bird perched okay so valley deep personal strength and peace that assure success that's you see that's what i was feeling this confidence that's what this world that's what they were showing me this confidence that you have to accomplish all that you that you are going to accomplish uh, confidence that you are going to be able to handle all these opportunities confidence that you're going to be successful and be happy with this ten of cups um I'm excited for you. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Yup, absolutely. Success is coming in. Romance, celebration, and party. So yeah, you are going to be successful and you're going to have a reason to celebrate with this fan. Waiting for news, a package or a letter. So I feel like you're waiting to hear from something. So some of you might have had an interview and you're waiting to hear the results, but or you're waiting to hear news on a maybe a test that you did well on a test. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like uh, you're waiting for the good news and I feel like the good news is coming. I definitely feel success here. So I'm excited. Let's see, Let's see what else we get. Let me move these all up a little bit here. So we have a little bit more room. What the heck? All right, let's move these up just a little bit. I should move them down a little bit, actually. <laughs> All right. There. Ooh. Sorry, I just dropped them. <laughs> Got them. Honor and trust your feelings. Okay, so you know you just know what you want and you got to trust it don't doubt it like you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get in your head about this you're gonna you know question things you know what i just feel such a capable energy from you that you well i don't i don't understand this like why are you doubting it honor and trust your feelings you know what you want you know what's going to bring you success you know what's going to make you happy so just honor those feelings you're getting your ten of cups the initiation rite of passage crossing the threshold so i feel like you've worked hard and like they're passing the baton on to you like so you know if you're working in a family business maybe you're going to be taking over the reins you know like i just feel like this is a rite of passage for you like if you worked hard right and you you went to school for something and now you're you're getting recognized for your knowledge and your heart and your achievements and it's just you're on your way you're just on, you're climbing the ladder of success here it just feels like really really good you have a new beginning yep 
Ace of Wands, right? Something new is happening because something's no longer good for you. So we're getting rid of this old and making room for this new, amazing beginning for you. So I do feel like it's like a promotion or something. I, it feels big. It feels good. Freedom, independence, self-determination. So yeah. You are this strong, capable, confident person. I feel it. And you are independent. You're making this happen. You're doing this on your own. This is not... I don't feel like this is like nepotism or who you know. I feel, feel like this is something that you're doing by your own achievements. So maybe that has given you that doubt and worry. Like if this is a family business or something and you're worried about people are thinking that you, uh, oh, my dad owns the business, so that's why I'm getting this. No, 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 no special treatment here. You are earning this. This is something that you've earned. This is something that you um, have worked hard for. And uh, yeah, this, it just feels really good. I feel really proud of you. That's what I feel. You're very deserving. It's time to take action. So, so I told you it's fast, fast moving energy coming in. So it's time to move. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So there you go. You could be working with somebody that you used to know or, you know, doing something that you used to do, but something from your past is returning. Um, it's usually a person. But this is a career read, so it could be, um, you know, like I said, something that you're going back to a, a, a career that you used to do that you no longer do, right? Because something didn't work out for you. We're doing something new here. So somebody, definitely somebody from your past could be uh, coming back into your work life here. I'm shuffling the wrong cards. Give me one second. I'm going to get a Metatron card. Archangel Sandophon with you now. All right, so Sandophon is here. Sandophon, what is he? I forget. Let me look at the book real quick. Number 22, in case you're wondering. Oh, this is about achieving. Oh, savoring the journey. Okay. This is about um, the goals and ideas and ambitions that you have are best achieved by taking your time and treading softly and savoring every part of the journey. Um, you know, you have, you have a mountain to climb and you're doing it. And uh, they want you to enjoy all the steps along the way. You know, they want you to smell the roses on the way to the top, right? Take time to feel that sunlight or listen to that bird song, you know, savoring all that life has to offer, right? seeing and feeling the beauty that is all around you and taking notice of your life. This is just being grateful. You know, this is just, this is coming out because there's a lot of fast moving energy coming in for you, right? So this is saying, don't get caught up in all this energy. Don't forget to enjoy the journey. Don't forget to be grateful for all the blessings in your life. You know what I mean? Don't, don't get so caught up in this and get a big ego. You know what I mean? So this is, this is just saying, yes, things are going to start speeding up, but slow your, your, um, your energy, your internal energy a little bit, like slow it down, see everything. Don't be 10 steps ahead. Like walk at your own pace. You know what I mean? And enjoy this. Enjoy this because this is amazing. It's really good. And you could get so caught up in the, um, you know, everything great, the greatness of this, that you might miss things. So they want you to just stop and smell the roses, right? All right, let's get you a, um, a fortune cookie. Change. A change of residence, partner, career, or job is on the, in the cards. You're restless and in need of a change, and that is exactly what is coming your way. Okay. 
So we knew that, right? The tower came out. We knew a change was coming. Let's get you some charms. It's a very successful change. That's for sure. All right. What do we got? We got the ugly bug. Don't judge a book by its cover. Make sure that you are, um, you know, getting to know things, getting to see, um, see things from a different perspective, maybe in the career. So we don't want to jump to conclusions, right? And we don't want to stereotype, um, cause you could miss something there, right? You, this is, this change is being supported by your angels and your guides. You have the key to success here. You're going to be so successful. Um, this is going to be a home run. You're knocking it out of the park and you're getting your slice of the pie as well. So money's coming in. Like, so this home run is like, you're knocking it out of the park. Like you knocked out the interview or you, you know, you pass the test of flying colors. You're just, you're being successful. And, um, you have the reef. So for me, that's a circle and circles are like never ending, right? So I feel like you're going to have a never ending opportunities here. I feel like you're, you're always going to be successful. You, you like, even when you're not successful, you're still successful. I don't know how else to describe that. Cause I know that didn't make sense at all, but it does. Um, good things are for you. Good things are for you. All right, pile three, that is all I have for you. So give the video a like, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel, because that'll help me and make me very grateful. And until next time, love and light. Hi, pile four. If you chose the um, purple butterfly, then this is going to be your reading. Uh, let's just get started here. We have nine of swords. The Hierophant, Justice, Nine of Cups, The World. Hmm. Interesting here. All right, so Nine of Swords is saying that you were worried about something. You have some anxiety here because there's a change coming. Um, yeah, there's some. There's a new chapter in your life here. Work wise career cycle is ending a new one is beginning so the hierophant says that there's definitely some change here this kind of feels like retirement maybe like you're retiring from one job and going into another right because i don't feel like your work life is over or it could just be leaving one career and starting a new career um and you're worried about it and it's got got you some anxiety but that's okay that's all right. Justice is here just to say that, you know, you need to have work-life balance. So if this change is because you didn't have work-life balance, then it's a really good change because your life is coming back into balance. Nine of Cups is a wish come true. So whatever it is that you were hoping for um, with this change, you're going to get it. All right. So no worries here. Things look good. Let's get you some tea leaves. Hills, obstacles to overcome. Rose, romances in the air. Misunderstanding and stars. Guaranteed success. There you go. Look at that. All right. So there's some obstacles that you have to overcome um, in this uh, new cycle. Um, maybe that's why something is changing because, uh, you know, something needed to change and there might be some obstacles in your way, but not, I, you're going to be successful. You've guaranteed success. So I wouldn't worry about it. You might've had a misunderstanding with someone. Um, but you know, that's going to, I think that's going to resolve itself. And I think that you're going to be fine. I, you have guaranteed success here. So Whatever this new cycle is bringing, this change is, it's definitely for your highest good. The rose says romance is in the air. Now this is a love, I'm not a love read. This is a career read. So this just means that you're going to start loving life again. You know, you're just going to start feeling that, um, 
you know, that feeling when you're feeling romantic, that nice, loving um, happiness. It's just joy. So you're going to love what you end up doing. You're going to end up loving new, new cycle because it's going to bring you a lot of success. So that's good. You're, you're feeling good. You are. You're feeling good in this. You know, and for some of you, you could actually be working with somebody that you, um, you know, have a romantic connection with. Be gentle with yourself. Okay, so... You're really beating yourself up. You're losing some sleep here. There's a lot of anxiety. And they're t saying, just chill out. Just just go with it, you know? Everything's working out for you. So don't be so hard on yourself, you know? Like, it, it, if you feel like you messed up or you made a mistake, you didn't because you got something really good coming in. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? So why are you making yourself small? This is you not shining bright. This is you, um, you know, trying not to overshadow things or people or others. You know what I mean? And that's no, 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 no. You are the star here. You are the star. So shine. You're supposed to shine bright. And if others can't handle it, well, then... That's their problem. That's their issue. That's not yours. Don't dim your light. Be the star that you are. You're trying not to outshine people, and, and that's like the opposite of, of what you're supposed to be doing right now. Have that courage, right? Have that courage because obviously you have um, the capability here to be Whatever the situation is, you have the capability here of being very successful. So, um, face your fears. Oh, wrong. Shuffling wrong cards again. <laughs> Do that a lot. There we go. Homeland, arrival, a journey end, establishment, building and settle. So that tells me that you are on the right path. You are going towards home. So, you know, whatever this change is that's happening, it's happening for a reason. It's because it's leading, it's putting you back on the right path, right? It's leading you home to where you're supposed to be, someplace that you're going to be comfortable, someplace that, you know, is going to feel good. So you're on the right path, Pile Four. A win-win outcome is forecasted. So, there you go. I told you success is coming in. Engagement. Engagement means that there's a deeper um, commitment coming in, right? So, you're going to be either signing a contract or just making a long-term commitment to something. And you're going to be committed and, and determined and successful. So, no worries. Get out of this nine of swords, right? All right, let's get you a Metatron card. Metatron, as above, so below. So that's all about duality, right? Um, this is about heaven, heaven on earth, right? You don't have to wait till you get to heaven to have all that you desire. You don't have to wait to heaven to have happiness and love. You can have it here. You can have whatever you want, whatever you think you're going to get when you cross over, whatever you think heaven is, you can have that now. You can absolutely have that now. You just have to figure out how to attract it. And at, at first, the first thing you should do is believe that you can have it, you know, believe in it. Um... You know, look, I, I was feeling sick the last three days, right? And I've been saying I am 100% healthy. All, all, any and all disease is leaving my body. And two days. And I feel so much better than I did yesterday. So much better. I 
because I've been saying that over and over again. I am 100% healthy. All, dis all disease is leaving my body. And I feel good. So, you know, say a mantra. Say, I'm going to be rich and famous if that's what you want. You know, not everybody wants that. <laughs> but if that's what you want, say it every day. You know, words are powerful. And they change our thoughts and our beliefs. So you can have whatever it is that you want. You really can. Good things are coming in for you, Pile 4. All right, let's get your fortune cookie. Declutter. Declutter your life. Let go of correspondence, objects, and people you no longer want. <laughs> Let go of people you no longer want. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid. All right. So there you go. But don't worry. Don't be hard on yourself. If somebody does say something that hurts your feelings, don't hurt people hurt people, right? So don't don't take it too seriously have the courage to face it and stand up to them maybe um let them go they're not important if you no longer want them let them go right <laughs> okay let's get you some charms So you got friends here. So one of your friends might be coming back into your life. I think somebody's here. We'll get through this. There's some love here. There's some travel here. There's here's you seeing things clearly. There's the key to success. There's some intuition here. You connecting to source. You're being supported by source. And there's a football. Just don't play games with people and don't allow people to play games with you. Okay, Pile 4, that is all I have for you. Give the video a like. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that will help me and make me very grateful. And until next time, love and light.